welcome back so far we have completed learning six bullish reversal patterns and six bearish reversal patterns and by now we are so much familiar with the candlestick that just by looking at a candlestick we will be able to comprehend as to what the candlestick is conveying so when you look at a green candlestick you would immediately understand that the closing price is higher than the opening price and the tip of the upper shadow indicates the high price of the range and the tip of the lower shadow indicates the lowest price of the range and when you see a red candle again you would immediately understand that the closing price is below the opening price and again the tip of the upper shadow and the lower shadow would indicate the high price and the lowest price of that range now just for the sake of understanding let us say that the opening price is denoted by blue color and the closing price denoted by black color here the opening price and the closing price by black now this is not a universal color code i am just saying this for the sake of understanding this particular lesson in fact the price are never indicated along with the candle the candles are only seen as pictures the price you have to see from the y axis of the graph all right now you are able to see this green body and the red body primarily because the opening price and the closing price are different there is a gap between the opening and the closing price and therefore you are able to see the body of the candle but just imagine a scenario when the opening price and the closing price is the same how will the candles look if the price opens and closes at the same point or almost at the same point just think over it. it will look something like this you see let us say that the price has opened somewhere in between let us say it has opened at 29.9 dollars gone all the way down to 39.5 then again gone all the way up to 50.5 and then finally closed at 30.1 so it has closed almost where it had opened a just a whisker up and therefore the candle is green another scenario would be like this it has opened at 30.1 gone all the way up to 50.5 then gone down to 39.5 and closed a shade lower at 29.9 now because it has closed lower the candle would appear green so this is how the candle would look if the price opened somewhere in between and gone up and down equidistance this type of candle is called as a doji now there are two versions of dojis or rather three versions this is one of the version of doji the other one may look something like this if the price opens at the lower end all right slightly above the lowest price of the day let us say it opens at 39.9 goes down to 39.5 then goes all the way up to 50.5 then comes down again and closes at 40.1 just a shade above the opening price so the candle is green but it looks like this okay another scenario would be like this a red candle where the price has opened at 40.1 gone down to 39.5 gone all the way up to 50.1 and then come down and close at 39.9 almost where it had opened but just because it is a shade lower than the opening price the candle would appear red so whether it is a red candle or a green candle this type of candle is called as a gravestone doji okay another scenario could be when the price opens close to the highest point of the day or highest point of that period let us say it opens at 
goes up to 50.5, then goes all the way down to 39.5, but does not stay there, again comes up and closes at 50.1, a shade above the point where it had opened. So therefore, the candle is green. It could have been other way around. It would have opened at 50.1, gone down to 39.5, come up to 50.1, Again, come down and closed at 49.9, a shade lower than where it opened. This is a red candle because of this reason. Whether it is green or red, such type of a candle is called as a dragonfly doji. So, we have seen now what is a doji, what is a gravestone doji, and what is a dragonfly doji. These type of candles where the opening price and the closing price are the same or almost the same convey a strong meaning they send a strong signal what are those signals what is the significance of these dojis this we will see in the next lesson all right